2013, how are we finding it so far? I know this is a really intense year because you've got to make decisions about what you want to do next year and then you've got to revise. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about things that I've got for you to help you make decisions about next year. I'm gonna to talk to you about free A-level chemistry course, we're gonna talk about A-level math, then we're gonna talk about A-level biology. Um, now, I bet lots of schools are talking to you about UCAS. Um, about writing a personal statement, about picking universities, and I've got loads and loads of stuff to help you with that. But what I bet a lot of schools aren't talking to you about are apprenticeships. And apprenticeships are brilliant, brilliant things because you earn money straight away. And sometimes when people say the word apprenticeship, they think builder or engineer or something like that. But there are so many different things you can do apprenticeships in. You can do apprenticeships where they pay for your degree so you don't have to take out tuition fees you'll be earning money during the holidays you've got a guaranteed job which pays you a good salary and you can go on and um you use that money to pay your living costs but you won't have to pay your tuition fees and maybe they'll just keep paying you over the holidays um, for example, I've got some brilliant videos coming up that I filmed at the National Physical Laboratory down in um, London where I talked to this amazing person called Kate and she's doing her degree at um, Kent University. Um, she's doing a degree in physics but she got a D in her physics A level so she didn't think she could ever go and do physics at university so she went to work at uh, the NPL National Physical Laboratory she's doing amazing work there and they are now sponsoring her degree so she works um, there during the holidays and then um, when it's term time she goes to university or you can go and do an apprenticeship in being a chemist or being an accountant or being a police officer there are so many different things that you can do apprenticeships in that maybe your school aren't talking to you about because they're really really UCAS focused at the moment so like I know there are so many different opinions out there so this video isn't going to be about that too much because um, I've made loads of videos on how to write your personal statement, how to pick a university, how to pick an apprenticeship, is an apprenticeship any good? So I just wanted to point out to you that they are there, they are available, apprenticeships are in basically every single subject and they will pay you money straight away. Um, so go and look at those videos. Um, now two things that are coming very very soon, um, A-level maths will be ready soon. Um, now I was having a conversation with a mum over the weekend and I was kind of like A level math should be finished in about six months and she looked at me and went oh, well that's not any good is it because I'll need it in seven months time I was like I'm sorry I promise you I am working as hard as I can I literally work about 15 hours a day six days a week trying to get stuff finished and if I don't have it finished in time for your exams, then I'm really, really, really sorry, but I promise you I'm trying. So all of the videos for A-level maths, the whole of A-level maths in however long that's going to be, will be coming. But all of the kind of like topic videos will be ready. So for every lesson you have in school, I will have a video for you. And it will go through the same as my GCSE videos, but since you're in year 13, you probably haven't seen any of my GCSE videos. Um, I have a brilliant teacher, Mr B, who will go through 15 different examples at three different levels, um, getting harder as they go through. You can jump into the video at whatever level you want. You can watch the video as many times as you want. You don't have to keep up with the person sitting next to you. You don't have to keep up with what your teacher's saying. Um, working you through everything you need to know, pointing out to you what sort of things the exams are looking for, pointing out what sort of things will lose you silly marks in the exam. Then, so for every lesson there'll be kind of like half hour, 45 minute video, then there'll be 150 practice questions for you. So either in a workbook which you can download and um, write on or as online multiple choice questions on my new website. Um, like I said, about six months time I'm really sorry. Um, a Level Chemistry is coming much, much sooner than that. So the online course for A Level Chemistry will be ready to launch once I finish working at how to build a website, like writing the questions for it. That's the easy bit. Building a website, 
literally got no idea what I'm doing. Um, but this website will be much, much better than the website that I've got at the moment, brand new website. Um, that should be ready, fingers crossed, next weekend. Um, so I'll do a separate video announcing that and then A-Level Biology will be after that. So I might not get A-Level Biology done in time for your exams. But A-Level Maths should be, A-Level Chemistry probably will be, A-Level Biology, let's hope more hours appear in the day. Fingers crossed it might happen. Um, anyway, you guys have so much stuff going on in school and at home at the moment and this is really, really hard time for you now there are a few things that i want you to focus on this half term you've probably got um revision for mock coming up you've probably got um homework coming up but what i want you to spend a little bit of time doing is looking at the stuff from year 12 because an area that the examiners across all subjects say is a weak area is year 12 content so Let's make our lives a little bit easier, spend our time revising Year 12 content now so that when it comes round to Easter um, of next year we don't have to think, oh you know that was 18 months ago I did that, I've got no idea what that is. So let's um, let's try, just a little bit of trying, revising of Year 12 content to make our lives a bit easier. Um, this is a tough year. Um, but next year, I mean, you're going to have an amazing long summer. This is going to be the longest summer off school ever. So we've got that to look forward to. But it's going to be really, really hard to enjoy that summer if you've worked so hard in year 13 that you're kind of um, a little bit broken. So we really need to work on you not being broken by the exams. And I kind of like, what I mean is basically looking after your mental health. So... Doing things like little and often with your revision, so doing a little bit of year 12 revision now, hopefully that may be easy in the year 13 stuff, so that you don't have to do it later on. Um, incorporating stuff into your daily routine, that is good for you and looks after you, so going to bed early, I know, I know, I know, you're not going to like me for saying this, but um, just going to bed a little bit earlier now. And you can stay up as late as you want over some other days, but it really, really will make, make you feel better the next day. So you can concentrate on whatever lesson you've got first thing, um, first thing on a Friday, maybe. Trying to fit some exercise into your daily routine really, really, really will make you feel better. I know lots of people say this, and I know you don't necessarily believe me, but on the days when I get up at 5.30 in the morning to go to the gym before I have to be at school, Honestly, I feel better on those days than I do on the days where I sleep in for an hour. I know it's kind of hard to believe, but it is true. Exercise does make you feel better mentally and physically, and that's what we want you to do, feel better mentally and physically. Um, there are lots of different ways you can revise. Maybe for your GCSEs, you could have, like didn't necessarily have to do a lot of revision or just like look to the textbook and it was in your head all of a sudden it's probably not going to work like that for a level we need to be doing practice questions because just reading the revision guide isn't really going to work anymore we need to be doing practice questions um so there's lots and lots of things for you to be thinking about over half term lots and lots of things for you to be doing so don't worry guys i'm going to be here with you every single step Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.